Hi, it's Rob. Welcome to another Cumulus Cycles AWS hands-on tutorial. In this video, I'll show you how to deploy a containerized app from a Docker image in ECR to EC2 using ECS. The app I'll be deploying is a simple Node.js Express API, which returns a hard-coded list of contacts when a GET request to the contacts route is hit. If I jump over to the browser, here we see I've hit the contacts route on localhost 3000 and received my list of contacts. I've created a Docker file, which uses Node Alpine as its base. Then I create a workdir in the source folder and copy the package.json file into the workdir, and then run npm install to install the Node dependencies. Then I'll copy the contents of the source folder into the workdir, and finally run Node server.js to start the application. So the first step in this process is for me to build the image from the Docker file. So I'll jump into a terminal and execute a Docker build in the folder that contains the Docker file. And we see we have our image. Now I'll spin up an instance of the container exposing port 3000 to test it out locally. And if I refresh, we see the list of contacts. Now I'll jump over to the AWS console, go to the ECR service and create a repository. I'll make it public and give it a name. Then I'll scroll to the bottom and create the repository. Now I could click on the repository name and then click the view push commands button. And the first step in the process is going to be to log into ECR. So I'll go ahead and copy the command, jump back into the terminal. And here we can see I've already configured my AWS credentials. So now I'll just execute the command. and login was successful. And the next step is to build the image, but I've already done that, so I'll copy the command to tag it. Go back to the terminal and execute the command. Finally, I'll jump back and grab the push command. Now I'll go back to ECR, refresh, and here we see our latest tagged image. While I'm here, I'll copy the URI because I'll need this when I configure ECS. So now I'll jump over to the ECS service and create a cluster. This will be an EC2 Linux plus networking cluster. I'll give it a name. I'll leave the default on-demand instance for the provisioning model. Select a T2 small. And for the demo, I'll just use one instance. For networking, I'll select the default VPC and pick a subnet. And I'll enable auto-assign public IP. For the security group, I'll pick the default but I'm going to launch into it and edit the inbound rules. Because my app runs on port 3000, I'll add a custom TCP rule for port 3000 from anywhere. And save the rule changes. I'll go back to ECS, scroll to the bottom, and create. With creation complete, I'll go ahead and view the cluster. And the next step will be to create a task. But before I could do that, 
I need to jump over and create a task definition. It'll be for EC2. I'll give it a name. Leave the defaults for the task role and the network mode. We'll give this 100 MIB for task memory and one vCPU. Now I'll go ahead and add the container for the container definition. Give it a name and paste in the URI to the image. I'll specify the port mappings of 3000 for the host port and the container port, and then click Add. So with the demo app container added, I'll scroll to the bottom and click Create. Now with the task definition successfully created, I'll go back to the cluster, click on the cluster name, select Tasks, and run a new task. This will be on EC2. It's pre-populated the demo app task and the latest revision and the cluster. So I'll scroll to the bottom and run the task. Now the task is currently in pending status with a desired state of running. If I refresh, now it's in running status. So if I jump over to EC2 and grab the public IP, then open a tab in the browser and hit port 3000 slash contacts, we see our data. So that completes this video on deploying a containerized app from a Docker image in ECR to EC2 using ECS. I hope you found it useful.